doing deadlifts with an axle bar and then using straps is like doing deficit deadlifts to make the pull harder and then putting your weight on blocks. Kind of cancels itself out, right? Dudes who use straps on axle bar deadlifts. What? Are you stupid? Why though? Welcome to Untamed Lesson number two. Today I'm talking about axle bar deadlifts and lifting straps. Why? What's the point? Deadlift with an axle bar presents a few challenges. One of those challenges is grip, but that's not the only challenge to using an axle bar. The increased diameter of the bar, two inches, two and a quarter inch, is gonna put the weight farther away from your body. So at the start, your starting position changes slightly because you have to be over the bar. With a standard 28 and a half millimeter barbell or less, if you're using a deadlift bar with a thinner diameter, it is easier to keep the bar close to your body. So as you stand up with a heavy weight, you can drag the bar up the front of your legs. Now imagine you got into a starting position with a deadlift bar and you let the bar drift away from your legs by a couple inches. That's gonna tremendously impact the pull and make it feel much more difficult. So again, the increased diameter puts the weight farther away from your body, making the weight feel like it's more in front of you. In fact, I got a story to tell. Last year, I was at a wedding and behind the venue, there was an old tractor axle, a real axle, not an axle bar. I tried to deadlift it with a conventional stance and the axle was so thick that I could not, even with my hips as high as I could get it, straight legged, I couldn't get over the bar enough to, to deadlift. I couldn't deadlift the conventional because of the huge diameter. So I did it sumo and uh, that seemed to be a little easier because positioning felt better. So again, increased diameter does put the weight further away from your body, just making it hard to pick up. Another reason why the axle bar deadlift is challenging. An axle bar, a real axle, is just a solid piece of steel. It's a fixed bar. There's no bend at all. There's no flex. There's no give. With a standard barbell, and especially with a deadlift bar, there's a lot of bend in the bar, a lot of flex in the bar, which creates a, you know, once you actually, the weight actually leaves the floor, you're at a little bit higher starting position, and the weight gradually comes off the floor. When you're deadlifting with a stiff, axle bar with zero give and you're pulling 500 pounds, that 500 pounds hits immediately. The weight feels like it's stapled to the ground. With a deadlift bar, when you pull, you pull a lot of that weight out as you pull on the bar. And you know, you might have 400 pounds at the start and then quickly 450, 500 pounds once all the weight leaves off the floor. And you're naturally at a higher starting position. So hopefully that makes sense. I made a video about deadlift bars to explain this. You can check that out. Let's check it out. But to reiterate, the axle bar is challenging because it's stiff. It has no give, no flex, no bend. Next, most axle bars are unmarked bars. So you don't know exactly where the center of the bar is. There aren't pretty knurling markings and power rings to let you know that you're in the center of the bar, or you're even on the bar. And that's what makes an axle bar an awkward, obscure strongman implement, which it should be. Some axle bars are marked in the middle and on the uh, power rings or the knurling marks. And that's because that might be an axle bar that you're strictly using for training. But in a lot of competitions, the powder coated axle bars are unmarked. And sometimes you grab the bar slightly off center, makes it pretty challenging. That's it, hopefully you learned something. Stay tuned for next week's Untamed Lesson number three. Thanks for watching and always remember, Tread on time.